Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hello, hello, Enrique Andres, hi, David Ernesto, hi. hello, hi, Dalia Santos, hello, um, uh, hello, Reina Costa, hello, Edwin Giovanni, hello, 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 all right, how are you, are you finished, are you ready, how was your right. weekend? How very, was very hot. Very hot. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Welcome back, guys. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, that's the sure. Okay. Now, what I would like for us to do today is uh, do a little review about the previous class. Who can tell me what vocabulary or what um, activities do you remember from the previous class? What can you tell me? Or what expressions or information do you remember from the previous class? Was and were. Was and were, correct. Uh, can you give me an example of using was and were? Can somebody give me an example using was and were? One example. I was taking my dinner. Um, in this case, we would say I was having dinner. Having dinner. Okay. I was having dinner, right? I was having dinner. Or you can say, I was cooking dinner. Or you can say, I was eating dinner. I was having dinner, I was cooking dinner, I was eating dinner. Awesome. Very good examples. Can somebody else give me another example, please? Uh, me. Okay, Evis, give me an example. Um, when I was a kid, I usually play, played soccer. Perfect. When I was a kid, I usually played soccer. Excellent. Another example. Somebody else? Somebody else? Another example? Using was, okay, so, what we're going to do is watch the video and review was and were. Listen, please. We, we do it this way. Listen, please. In this session, participants will study the past of the questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb be. Let's start. Past of be. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. 
wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be am um, and is was are were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, estates, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? Okay. Now for this activity, Equals what I would like for us not. to do is I want you to give me five examples, five questions with were and was. And then you're going to write it here at the bottom in the discussion forums. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. Let's get started. Ready? Let's go. Ah, si quiere ver su progreso, deme su correo electrónico. Ah, dice, sí, fíjese que yo tengo esa duda que cuando yo contesté el, el, lo de salud, que uh -huh. decía la, la, el fitness, ¿Cuál es su sí, correo sí. electrónico? No, Roxana punto asistencia. Roxana punto asistencia arroba gmail punto com asistencia at gmail dot com falta la a en asistencia perdón falta una a en asistencia ah ok asistencia ajá sí ok uy se acaba de ir un transformer cabal se escuchó Dice, yo, yo me quedé sin internet del teléfono, me tuve que conectar también, de que está lloviendo bien fuerte. 
Ah, ok, ahorita va bien. Pero, pero, ajá, en, en la unidad 1, ahí en la sección 1, uh -huh. abajo, ¿Sí? en la sección, ahí me, ahí, ahí me aparece 00 cero en la última. Y no sé cómo contestarlo. Eh, ¿Cuál o número sea, es? Es el de, el de fitness. Eh, ¿Qué número será? Ah, ahorita le digo, ahorita. Uno punto doce, uno punto doce. Esta, sí. Tiene que darle clic enviar. Ya, ya lo hice, pero no, pero me sale siempre a cero. Mm. Ya contesté también ahí en el discussion form, porque a mí me salieron 35 puntos, ya lo mandé. Ahí está Roxana Maya, 35, pero me sale 00, cero, cero. no sé cómo, cómo responder eso. Y ya, ya puso aquí... Okay. Su discusión ya la puso aquí. Ya agregó sí, su puntaje. Sí, aquí está Roxana Amaya. Aquí ah, sí, Amaya, Amaya ahí está. Okay. Pero este, traté de descargarlo para responderlo, pero no porque está en PDF, así que no sé. Ahí hágame, un, hágame un favor, eh, mándeme Ajá. un WhatsApp en privado con una toma de pantalla de la actividad y yo mañana le doy seguimiento con el apoyo técnico. Ah, ok, eh, ¿a qué número? Al, al que nos enviaron, al WhatsApp que nos enviaron. Sí, ahorita acaba de poner yo, ok. Ah. De acuerdo. Fisher, aprovechando, uh -huh. en, en el 1.11, ya que estamos ahí, el uh -huh. último no me lo acepta también. 1.11. No sí, un, el anterior al que acabamos de, de ver. ¿Cuál? Es el 1.11. Quiero ver. Voy. Eh, Esto sería How well can you? Um. How often do you? Sí, es, es todo eso también, pero el, el último sí me salía eh, equivocado. Ah, pero me faltaba aquí. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Um, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Everybody's finished? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, I would like for us to check, check the activity. 
in pairs. We're going to work in pairs and check the activity. Let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Alguien que quiera leer sus ejemplos. Okay. Go ahead, Roxana, give me your examples. Were classmates in the university? No, we weren't. Was in dance class, classes? Yes, I was. Was he traveling last year? Yes, he was. Was she in English classes the previous year? No, she wasn't. Were they at the meeting? Yes, they were. Perfect, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and move forward and we're gonna look at the next section. For the next section, you are going to complete the following conversations. Remember to use the be verb. Let me have one volunteer for number one. One volunteer for number one. Me? Um, okay. Number no one? Yes, Number please. one? Yes. How long were your parents in Europe there? Oy. Okay. Sorry. How long were your parents in Europe? Sorry, guys. Que aquí está troneando horrible. Bad, bad, bad. Thank you, Jenny. The answer is were. Let me have another volunteer. Number two. Me, teacher. Okay. They were there for two weeks. Very good. They were there for two weeks. Excellent. Let me have another volunteer for number three. Me. Okay. Were they in London the whole time? Perfect. Were they in London the whole time? Number four, another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. No, no, they weren't. They also went to Paris. Perfect. No, they weren't. They also went to Paris. And number five. All right, Monica. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Perfect. Were you in Los Angeles last weekend? Let me have number seven. Number seven. Let me have a volunteer for number seven. Me, teacher. Okay. No, I was. I was in San Francisco. Perfect. No, I wasn't. I was in San Francisco. Number seven. Oh, how was it? How was it? Excellent. Number eight. Volunteer, number eight. It was great, but it, it was foggy. Perfect. It was great, but it was foggy. Number nine. When you away, you went to away last weekend. Perfect. Were you away last week? Number 10. Yes, I am in Istanbul. I am or I was? I was, I was, sorry. I was in Istanbul. Perfect. Awesome. Does anybody have any questions related to that activity? Sure. Hi. What is the meaning of foggy? What is the meaning? Foggy. Uh, how do you spell it? 
F O G G Y F F F O This right here, Foggy. Foggy. Oh, Foggy. F O G G Y. Foggy. Ah, G G. <laughs> foggy es nubleado. <laughs> Bien nubleado, como mm. cuando, como las mañanitas que se bajan las nubes y se ve como nublado. Thank you. Foggy. Okay, now we're looking at vacation time, conversation practice. Listen, please. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi. Welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place. And the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day. And I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. You got it or repeat one more time? Repeat, please. Welcome one more back. time. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Well, that's great. Good for you. All right, I'm going to let you work in pairs so that you can do the activity and then we're going to check together. Vamos a trabajar en pareja y lo van a hacer juntos y después lo vamos a trabajar en grupo. Let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. What are you doing? No veo que están entrando al grupo. Let's go, guys. Manuel, Evis, Dalia, Edwin. What are you doing here? Hello, hello. Hola. 
solo ah. entro a la página. Ok, ok. The first question is, where did Jason go? And in the audio say, she go, sorry, he go to San Francisco. Lo, por lo menos yo lo voy a ir anotando de un solo en, en el en el en la página no sé si ya estás ahí Sí, ahorita acabo de entrar. Ah, vaya. La voy a ir anotando también en, en... Ahí de un solo. Sí. Vaya. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? I finished, but I don't know my partner finished too. Okay. Todos terminaron o necesitan más tiempo? Huh? Finished. Oh, I'm Please. Okay. Yo no lo voy a terminar porque tuve unos problemas este con, con poder reproducir el, el, el video por el mismo tema de la lluvia. Ok. Let's look at number one. Where did Jason go? San Francisco. Correct. San Francisco. Perfect. Number two. Did he enjoy it? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Where did Barbara go? <laughs> Home. Did she enjoy it? Yes. Yes. Very good, Reina Acosta. So number one is San Francisco. Number two is yes, he did. Number three is home. Number four is yes. Any questions referring to this activity? No, teacher. No question. All right. Now what we're going to do is look at the next activity. For this activity, we are going to be moving around to the next section. We're going to close this one. And we're going to be looking at section three. In this section, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in towns. Pay attention to there is, there are, on, one, any, and some. 
Listen, please. Listen, please. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? <laughs> Let's practice. Yes. I'm looking for... <laughs> Hasta le dice, hay una barbería también, como lo ve con el pelo largo, ¿verdad? <laughs> All right. Mechudo. Mechudo le estás diciendo. Ok, listen, please. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm, Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I am your neighbor, Jack. Jack. I, I just moved in. I just, I just moved in. Oh, yes? Oh, oh yes. yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. And is there oh, a laundromat near here? And is a laundromat, laundromat near here. here? Well, I think oh. there's one across from the shopping center. Well, well I, I think there is one, one across the shopping center. From the shopping center. Thank you. Thank, 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 thank you. you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. By the way, a barber in the shopping center too. A barber shop? A barber shop. Se la está tirando, Que está muy peludo. Okay, uh, I would like for you to practice the conversation in pairs. Les voy a mandar la imagen de la conversación al grupo del WhatsApp para los que no tienen la plataforma abierta. Uh, we're going to practice it in pairs. Thank you. Okay, ready? Let's go. Edwin, Manuel, Maritza, Manuel Alejandro, Maritza. No la, la compartí. No, eso está bien. Ok. ¿Quién quiere ser? Eh, si gusta, empieza usted y si no, de igual forma nos podemos intercalar después los... Vale, voy a empezar yo entonces. Okay. Excuse me. Um, for your no. Um, your new neighbor Jack. I just moved it, moved it in. 
Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a la laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across for the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Barber shop? Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there, are they any around here? Yes, there are some on a pine stream. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat? A laundrom, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Laundry mat, laundry mat. Laundry mat. Laundry mat. Laundry mat near here. Well, I think I think there are one across from the shopping center. Okay. Thank you. By the way, where's a barber shop in the shopping center too? A barber shop? Tengo una consulta, teacher. ¿Qué, qué significa laundromat? El laundromat es una lavandería donde se lavan la ropa. Son okay. públicas. Aquí en El Salvador acostumbrados cada quien tener nuestra propia lavadora. Allá sí. tienen centros públicos de lavar. Se les dice laundromat. Laundry mat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now, for this activity, what I would like for you to do is you're going to write, va a escribir una conversación similar, pero en vez de decir, por ejemplo, a dónde está la lavandería, puede decir a dónde está el banco, uh, en vez de decir a dónde está el, el parque, puede decir a dónde está la escuela, o cambiarlo de su forma y lo van a escribir acá, en el fondo, en el discussion forum. Any questions? No Disculpe, question. podría repetir porque es eh, como que no podía entrar al, a la reunión de nuevo, pero ya. Ok. No, no Igual de es de tarde. Ok. So here va a ir acá a la sección 3.1. Va a agarrar este patrono. Solo que aquí él pregunta por una laundry mat. Usted puede preguntar por otros lugares diferentes. La idea es preguntar por lugares en el vecindario. Y después lo van a agregar acá en la discussion forum, aquí abajo. ¿Do you understand? Understand. Yes, yes. Ok. So now yes. what we're going to do, thank you. Now what we're going to do is change partners. Let's go.
Ya lo tengo. ¿Lo pueden ver? Sí. Ok. Bueno, entonces... ¿Qué le ponemos? Maybe pharmacy. Ajá, pharmacy. Uh -huh. um. Ok, entonces sería Jack, ¿verdad? Jack, yes. I'm looking for a pharmacy. Is there any around here? Excuse me. Ay, bueno, lo mismo sería. Al, sí, excuse me. Que lo estoy escribiendo ahorita. Okay. I'm, I'm your new, new neighbor. Neighbor. Jack. I just moving. I just. Oh, yes. No. I just move it in. Mr. Mr. Day. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pharmacy. I'm looking for a pharmacy. Okay, I'm looking for a pharmacy. Pharmacy, yeah. Uh -huh. Are there any around here? Are there... Are there any around here? Yes, there are some um. Uh -huh. um yes. No, Juan Pablo. <laughs> uh -huh. Let me yes. And there are some on ¿sí? eh, Juan Pablo Street. Uh -huh. Juan Pablo Street. Oh, good. Yeah. And there are. Um, is there a? Uh, oh, good. Oh, what? And is there um, a bank? Uh -huh. A bank near here? A bank near there. Near here, near here, eh? near, here. near here. Near here. Well, I think there is one across from the. the well, I think there is one across from the library. Um, across the library. Library. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, there's a. By the way, there's. Okay. It's a. Uh, I don't know. The same. Mm -hmm. 
voy a, voy a hacer entonces todo ahorita. Va, yo voy a tratar de, de escribirlo aquí. Ajá, para que lo Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm looking for a call. I'm looking for a call. Is there anything? Yes, there is one. In front of the health unit. Oh, thanks. Oh, that's good. And is there a bank near here? A bank. I think there is one behind the hospital on the main street. Thank you very much. So yes.
Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, now we're going yes, to look for the next one, 3.2. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask and answer questions. With these is, there are one, any, some. En esta clase, participantes aprenderán cómo hacer y responder preguntas con hay, un, algún y algunos. Listen, please. And welcome back to another session. This time, we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place, which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite. In front of. In back of. Behind. Between. On the corner of. If you want to know if there is a place near you, we do it by saying, is there a near here? Of course, the answer will depend on if there is or not. You may answer yes there is, or no there isn't. If your answer is yes there is, you may continue by saying, yes there is, there is one next to the gas station. Prepositions of place. Let's go over the Okay, before we continue, who can tell me what is the difference between there is there e are there? Is there or are there? Who can tell me what is the difference? What is the diferencia entre is there e are there? Plural Sing forum. Singular and plural. Singular and plural. Correct. Singular and plural. ¿Cuál es el singular? There is, is there. Is there. Is there. Is there is el singular. E L are there is el plural. plural. Any questions? No. no questions. Okay. No question. Let's continue. Vamos a poner en silencio los micrófonos, por favor. The gas station is next to the public library. The shopping center is close or near the public library. The telephone booth is across from the gas station. The plaza is in front of the post office. The electronic store is behind or at the back of the post office. The plaza is between First National Bank and the grocery store. The gas station is on the corner of First Avenue. Make sure you practice and understand each preposition of place. Okay. All right, so please continue working on the platform, guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank Good you. Night. Good night. You Thank tomorrow. you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.